Forget the bustling streets of Freetown and buckle up, because we're diving into the untamed jungle of Sierra Leone. Not for wildlife safari, but for something even wilder. In this video, we unravel the enigma of Sierra Leone's failed, abandoned, or uncompleted megaprojects, each bearing witness to a narrative of hope, hubris, and ultimately, heartbreak. Today, we're cracking open the top failed, abandoned, or uncompleted megaprojects in Sierra Leone. Get ready, for the journey begins now. Number 10. Mambo River Hydropower Station Consider a tremendous river booming, not with rapids, but with the promise of renewable energy. That was the vision of the Mambo River Hydropower Station, a dam so large it could electric half the country, a beacon of progress brighter than the midday sun. But hold your horses, for this dream hit some roadblocks quickly than a mongoose hunting a cockroach. First, money is tighter than a few few rap. Then there are technological difficulties as dense as the rainforest canopy. Finally, there are tales of uprooted communities, with their homes submerged by the expanding reservoir. So the dam remains half-built, a concrete monument to a dream on hold, while the Mambo River flows freely, its promise trapped behind a closed gate of what ifs. Number 9. King Tom International Airport in Freetown Remember those airport movies with dramatic takeoffs and sophisticated spies? Forget it. King Tom International Airport in Freetown isn't that kind of place. This concept aimed to turn the airport into a regional hub, a doorway to prosperity, with planes taxiing in like excited guests. However, the road became rougher than a taxi driver navigating potholes. Financial mismanagement obscured the runway like Harmattan Cloud. Construction delays lasted longer than a tailor's tape measure, and whispers of corruption were thicker than the dust from a departing plane. So King Tom is still sleeping, its growth plans accumulating dust in the departure lounge as minor airlines fly past to flashier hangars. Number 8. Bambuna Iron Ore Mine Consider mountains of iron ore, gleaming like dispersed pearls, promising prosperity and employment for all. That was the second coming of the Bambuna Iron Ore Mine, a resurgent giant. However, this comeback youngster stumbled quickly than a baby giraffe on roller skates. Logistical obstacles piled up like termite mounds. Infrastructure is as flimsy as a young spider web. Global iron ore prices fell as low as a limbo champion. So Bumbuna sits half awake, its rusted machinery sighing in the wind, a warning that even the most powerful dreams can become rusty if the world isn't ready for them. Number 7. Makini Lunsar Rail Line Rehabilitation Imagine a land where iron serpents slithered across lush valleys, connecting vibrant cities and thriving with commerce. This was the ambition of the Makini Lunsar train line, a historic artery in need of revitalization. But the tracks became twisted. Financial difficulties squeezed the project like a rusted handbrake. Building delays lasted longer than a forgotten tone, and rumors of corruption threw a pall over the entire operation. What was the result? A train trapped in station, unable to whistle its way forward. Number 6. Freetown International Stadium Complex Consider this, raucous crowds cheering beneath floodlights, athletes flying through the air, and Sierra Leone's sporting spirit striving for the stars. This was the idea of the Freetown International Stadium Complex, a symbol of sporting success. However, the whistle blew too soon. Construction expenses skyrocketed like an overinflated football, mismanagement sabotaged the plans like a dropped pass, and delays lasted longer than a marathon runner cramping. The stadium is now half complete, serving as a reminder of unmet hopes and squandered opportunities. Number 5. King Hastings Ferry Terminal Upgrade Remember those postcard-perfect boat excursions, skimming across turquoise waters with the city skyline glimmering in the distance? The King Hastings Ferry Terminal Upgrade offered a stylish gateway to Freetown's core. But the tide turned rough. Technical problems appeared like unwanted barnacles, environmental worries reverberated through the sea like frightened waves, and financial limits tightened the budget like a rusted anchor chain. What was the result? A ferry terminal is trapped on dry land, unable to sail the currents of progress. Number 4. The Western Rural Area Rice Project Imagine a place where rice fields ripple like emerald waves in the sun. Farmers sing cheerful melodies as they harvest their bounty, 
and plates are brimming with fluffy Sierra Leonean jollof. This was the dream of the Western Rural Area Rice Project, which promised to transform the country into a self-sufficient rice powerhouse. But the seeds didn't sprout properly. Logistical hitches sprung up like weeds, roads too small for tractors, irrigation systems that gurgled with promise but brought drought. Farmers, the project's backbone, were caught in a web of insufficient assistance and limited resources. The hope of rice independence faded like a flame in the wind, leaving a taste of unrealized potential on the tongue. Number 3. The Makini Sugar Factory Rehabilitation Consider this. A massive factory humming with the beat of machinery, the air thick with the seductive perfume of caramelized sugar, and Makini thriving with the affluence of a revitalized industry. This was the sugary vision behind the Makini Sugar Factory Rehabilitation Project, which promised to restore the sweet taste of economic success. But the gears became trapped. Outdated machinery, like rusted dinosaurs in a sugar stupor, refused to work. Skilled laborers, sugarcane alchemists, were in short supply. And the dream of sweet regeneration faded into a sour reality, leaving the plant motionless, a monument to a sticky and unfinished dream. Number 2. Aberdeen New Town Imagine a metropolis emerging from the ocean mist, with dazzling skyscrapers kissing the clouds and lively streets brimming with activity. This was the Grand Symphony of Aberdeen New Town, a planned metropolis aimed to relieve the pressure on Freetown by providing modern apartments, schools, and businesses with views. But the conductor's baton faltered. Land ownership conflicts entangled the project in legal quagmires, environmental concerns over deforestation rang like angry waves, and infrastructural requirements felt like an infinite ocean to fill. The dream metropolis became trapped in the shallows, leaving Aberdeen unaffected and the symphony of urban harmony muted. Number 1. Bo Kenema Road Upgrade Consider a ribbon of smooth tarmac snaking across gorgeous mountains, linking bustling Bo with the colorful core of Kenema. This was the vision of the Bo Kenema Road Upgrade, a roadway that promised trade, development, and a faster commute for tired travelers. But the road encountered some potholes. Financial problems tightened the construction belt, rumors of corruption threw a pall over the project, and construction delays lasted longer than a stuck vehicle on a hill. The road remains uneven, the journey stays lengthy, and the dream of seamless connectedness fades like a flat tire on the side of progress. These stories, my friends, are more than just incomplete projects. They are cautionary tales, lessons in balancing ambition with reality, and glimpses into the difficulties Sierra Leone faces on its path to prosperity. They remind us that development is a delicate dance. These unfinished projects, like rough diamonds waiting to be polished, contain the possibility for fresh methods, inventive solutions, and a future in which development moves to the beat of sustainability community, and resilience. So, there you have it, folks. A taste of the unfinished narratives of Sierra Leone, where even the whispers of abandoned projects hold valuable lessons. Stay curious, stay adventurous, and never stop questioning the picture perfect. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more explorations of the hidden stories that shape our world.